Hey guys, what's going on? Crestline Boy here, back today with another Minecraft video. And if you've watched the previous videos on my channel, and you are familiar with my uh, special prestige event, if you will, then you're in for a treat. Because we're back with post-reset prestige opening, I guess. I mean, if I type in chat, as you can see, it says prestige 2, uh, but because of a bug, I should be third prestige. So this is my kind of third prestige opening uh, I didn't do an opening for the previous two because as I said in uh, another video it's kind of hard to get openables uh, or harder so rather than opening every prestige I'll open I don't know every two or three prestiges um, but yeah so we're back and let's get rolling if you guys enjoy my openings you're in for a real treat oh actually uh, as part of one of the, uh, eternal rank, which I have, um, let's see, cosmetic, oh yeah, turn off, open all, uh, yeah, openable, and, and, yeah, I can't even talk today, animations, but we're gonna turn that off, we're gonna turn the animations on so we can place more runes at once. Okay. I mean... I think rune and all the stuff, all those rewards, I think they're about the same. Uh, like, yeah, if you open a couple at once, you'll get some stuff. But if you open a ton at once, then you go, look at that, Emerald Black Seed Level 3. This is going to take some time to open, but I'm fine with that. And as you can see, uh, if you watch my previous videos, the scenery where I'm opening may look a little different. That's because, you know, Skybound's reset, and uh, this was my build for the... Uh, build event. Uh, I also posted that video on my channel if you guys want to go look in depth at what I built. Um, but yeah, I I was thinking of kind of recreating what I had um, before the reset on my island on nice. Uh, but you know, I like to change things up a bit. So yeah, we're gonna just keep up opening. Man, these open. Fa I think these open faster than they used to, even um, with uh, openable animation. But, um, I mean, I mean, we're getting a ton of challenge XP, which is really nice. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but while I'm opening these, I'll talk about uh, the prestige bug I mentioned. So, basically, uh, when I logged on one day, it had taken away my prestige. And to fix that, you just had to re-log. But I didn't know that. So, at, I had already prestige once. But when I logged on and prestige again, it had taken away my first prestige before I prestige for the second time. So it was essentially like I was prestiging for the first time again. Um, so yeah, so that made me first prestige, and I was able to prestige again. Um, so now I'm second prestige, uh, although technically I'm third prestige, because usually you need uh, 100 levels for every prestige. So to prestige the first time, you need to be level 100. Prestige the second time, you need to be level 200. But because of my glitch, I to prestige the second time, it still had like... It's like mixed up, so like it doesn't show that I'm prestiged, but I need to be level 300 to prestige the second time, where you should need 300 to prestige the third time, not the second time. So it's like, yeah. I mean, I made like three bug reports, but at this point, you know, it's whatever. Um, and then with the new leveling system, you can get up to level 1000, which means if you need 100 levels for every prestige, uh, you can get a max of 10 prestiges on each island. Uh, but for me, because of the bug, unless they fix it, I can only get to 9th prestige. Um, which is fine. I mean, it, it'll take me a while to prestige that many times anyway. Um, so yeah, I was going to say something else about, I think, prestige or something. Uh, I can't remember what it was. I kind of lost track when I went on that tangent there. Um... But yeah, so that's uh, that's uh, an issue that I've been having, and um, you know it's, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Sort of, yeah. And also they changed the prestige up a bit, so now you need 20 mil to prestige. Um, uh, you need the same amount of challenges done, which is all right. Uh, yeah. All right, we're almost done opening all the ancient runes. I mean, three and a half stacks. That's pretty. I mean, I spent good chunk of money on this so that's nice uh we're getting a lot of ore seeds i mean we're not really getting the ore seeds that i want i mean I'll, of course i'll take emerald 
<coughs> I'll take emerald and diamond ore seeds. Um, of course. But, um, what I really need is, like, gold and iron and stuff. Because, I mean, I have a bunch of ore seed boxes to open. So I could potentially... So it's not like that big a deal that I don't get them from the ancient runes. Um, yeah. Alright. Uh, okay, that was the last of the ancient runes. And I think that ancient runes are like the lowest, one of the lowest tier, op the second lowest tier openable. The lowest being uh, farming runes. Uh, but you can get corrupted keys from farming runes, so uh, it's up to you to decide how good they are rank in your books oh there we go okay uh ooh, what's that yeah mortal stone from it nice i like how can you can get the next tier openable from an openable so like ancient runes can give you legendary relics legendary relics give you mortal stones mortal stones can it's not next nest eh can't talk today it's not necessarily uh, a tier up, but they can give you uh, war zone crates and buried treasures and stuff. So, and I think pots of gold. So, yeah. Oh baby. But yeah, I was like, when I was prestiging this past time, like I was scrounging for money because I and I really didn't want to open my openables for the money because you know I had stuff lying around that I could sell. Um, but yeah, I was literally scrounging like. I spent like 10 mil in first place spinners just to so I could get to level 300. Um, what else did I spend? I didn't spend, but I sold um, all my trophies, my island trophies. So I used to have a score of 77. Now I have a score of 5. Yeah. I mean, I sold them for 3 mil, which was like a little less than what they're worth, but I really need the money. And of course, now. Um, I, I can never seem to hold on to money now, like, before, like, I had a couple hundred mil, but that was probably because, you know, I had a bunch of Enderman spawners and a bunch of Creeper spawners, which is another thing they changed, uh, they made it so you no longer get spawners from spawners, uh, and there are no more Creeper spawners, I'm pretty sure, yeah, th that wouldn't be because you can't get them from mob drops anymore, um, but yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and if you guys want to look, yeah, so I already finished the campaign, because they got rid of, well, they got rid of Dual Arena and Mob Arena, uh, so those uh, campaigns are gone, they got rid of Bosses, so those campaigns are also gone, and they also, they didn't get rid of Mining World, thank god, as you could have, as you probably saw in my last video if you watched it, they didn't get rid of it, uh, but they got rid of the Mining World Challenges, um, which, I mean, now you probably wouldn't be able to do them anyway, because one of the challenge, I mean, one of the challenges was mine emerald blocks in any deer, which was easy. But the other challenge was um, kill ten players in mining worlds, and uh, they lowered it. And it used to require ten people to start a mining world game. Now it's five, and you can barely even get it started them. So that challenge would be really difficult. Um, but yeah, but they do have a campaign challenge where you earn, have to earn five thousand stars in mining world, which it's like the easiest thing ever. Okay, that's the legendary relics opened and done. So now it's time for the immortal stones. Okay, let's hope we can get some. I mean, I'm not. I don't think you can get. Sh um, I, what? Oh, my mouse is freaking. Let's see, what challenge XP? Alright, not bad. Um, I know you can't get immortal shards like anymore, but I'm pretty sure you can get like corrupted keys from it, maybe. You used to be—I mean, you used to be able to get them from legendary relics, but I think not anymore. Uh, we got some decent stuff. Boom. Cool. Also, if you had watched my openings before, usually I would pick up all the items using a magnet. Well, they got rid of the magnets, so yeah. Ooh, if I don't open anything else, my video might not be ten minutes long, and I just uh, started monetizing my videos. So, maybe we'll open some more stuff. Yeah, we'll probably open some more stuff. Um, I mean, it's just about a 10 minute mark, but... Ooh, we could look at all the stuff you got. So, we got a bunch of Storm Gens. I hate when they don't stack, but whatever. 
Uh, we got a bunch of Orsies. Look at the, they're all blocks and then really high tier uh, Orsi box. Here, let's grab, let's grab all this stuff. And we can put it in my vault. And then, and actually, I want to show you guys that too. You probably saw it in another video, but if not, I recreated my vault kind of that I had uh, on Nice Islands. Um, so yeah, now I have that. Um, ooh, confetti or potion recipes? Uh, let's do some confetti. We haven't done it in a while. Uh, and we'll, confetti and why not? We'll do farming runes. Uh, open. All right, so mining world pass. So you can get mining world passes, economy tickets, wool, and challenge XP. That's basically it. We kind of wanna. Oh, and I guess you can get clay now. I actually didn't even know that. Uh, but yeah, so it's decent for like money and stuff. We got lots of confetti. Not as much as I used to have. Oops. I don't want to. Um, I actually save my economy tickets now just in case I need some money. Although, when I mentioned earlier that how I was like scrounging for money and stuff, I didn't use my economy tickets because, like, I guess I wasn't under that much pressure to prestige at that moment. But, you know, I just didn't want to necessarily waste my uh, reserve fund. I have a lot of, like, I have like different tiers of selling stuff. So, my primary tiers of selling stuff is, uh, mob drops, and, like, so, like, poppies from, uh, IGs, and, um, and, uh, like, rotten flesh and bones, spider eyes, like, all of the different dropper mobs, um, so that's my primary sale, sell, um, and then I have, uh, the iron block like dub chests of iron blocks from the IG spawner and then what do I have then then I have oh yeah I have I have uh, in my vault I keep um emerald diamond and gold blocks uh for sale um and and then I have other stuff to sell like I have prefixes and other stuff All right so lastly, we're going to open these farming runes, and then I think that'll call this video, and then I could be back with the rest of the openables. Uh, let's see, anything good? Oh, oh, you can get legend... Okay. Oh. Whoa, okay, apparently they buffed the uh, farming rooms a lot. Uh, very clearly. Uh, legendary Relic, Mystic Timber, and two potion recipe libraries. Wow. Okay, uh, uh, I guess there are... A lot better than they used to be. Uh, we're going to put these here. We're going to open this legendary relic real quick. But yeah, they definitely buff farming runes. I'd say they're definitely above the tier that uh, ancient runes are. Like, they're definitely better than ancient runes now. I didn't even know that they buffed them. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, there's an ancient rune. Uh, some paper schematics. So, okay, I guess we'll open this last ancient. Imagine this last ancient runes gives us legendary relic. The legendary relic gives us uh, an immortal stone, and then the immortal stone gives us something too. That would be really funny. Uh, unlikely, but probably, yeah. But here, yeah, there's the last openable. It's gonna be a bottle of enchant. I mean, that's all right. Um. We have to look here. Yeah, we got some goodies. Um, and that's not even the rest. Uh, I'm not gonna... I mean, if you can quickly glance it when I throw these in. That's whatever I just showed you. Um, actually, I, I want to show you this. Um, the Mystic Timbers. I have 68 of them. And each one gives a minute time if you don't use, like, the TNT to lower the time and break blocks. So, assuming I don't use that TNT... Thing that I can I'll show you in another video it'll take me over an hour to open all the mystic timbers so likely I'll either do multiple videos like I did um, I'm on my old procedures or I will do I'll just like pause the video and um, open them up while paused and then I'll come back and show you guys what I got uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry I didn't show you the prestige. Um, but you know, I oh, 
Also, one thing I should also mention, Prestige is no longer give you eternal shards. So, I mean, it just gives you uh, a point that you can use towards kit cooldown, uh, increased economy, uh, island size, and uh, Prestige symbols. So, yeah, so I, I just Prestige kind of off camera on my own. Uh, I think I, it was like 11 or midnight or something, so I just did it late at night. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you liked the video, slash, slash, I'm so inarticulate, i making YouTube videos, or commentary, commentating YouTube videos is not necessarily my thing, but I do it for you guys, so you don't, it's not just a silent video of some guy opening openables. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button, like every other YouTuber says. Freaking YouTube cliche. Uh, hit that subscribe button, you know, uh, so I can get, a, I mean, I need a thousand subscribers or I think over 4,000 watch hours for YouTube to review my uh, channel and see if it's worthy of, like, monetization. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, subscribe, like, comment down below. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys later.